Let me get a little bit of background first, just to set the context about the company. Uh, GTA is traditionally a wholesale tour operator of ground travel services. That's us selling uh, travel services for both groups and FITs. FITs are individual travelers, um, you know, the Mr. and Mrs. who don't want to sit on a coach of 50 people. Um, now, GTA was purchased by the Corona Group back in May 2010. Uh, during the restructure of the various business units, we formed a significant part of the GTS division. So just to see on the slide there where we, where we fall in. Um, now, the GTA brand stays, and it represents the FIT part of the business, that's the, the individual travelers. And this covers a number of different travel services, such as entrance to tourist attractions, sightseeing tours, etc. But predominantly, it's about the sale of hotel product. GTA currently has in excess of 50,000 contracted hotel properties, um, and these are sold through a, a network of, of B2B, wholesale, retail, and e-commerce channels using either our own HTML sites, um, through white label HTML sites, or through our XML API. Now, just the history of, of GTA with Triometric, we first bought their web services analyzer back in around 2005. Uh, and initially, that gave us basic visibility of all the hits on our HTML websites. So that was traffic volumes, um, object hits. Unlike some of the other um, products, it, it refers to an, a, a hit, an object, as any one item that might appear on a page. So that might be a GIF or a JPEG or, or a JSP. Um, so we, would sit, we were starting to see, for the first time, the volumes of requests that were coming through to us. So, as I said, number of hits, but not just that. Uh, we, we could measure the response time, both of, of an I individual object or of an average. Um, we could see the request and the response sizes. We could measure, for the first time, the failure rate. How many people were asking us for something? and we were failing to respond, um, either because the object didn't exist or because we just weren't serving it fast enough. We, we got some intelligence around things like the browsers that were being used by our clients out there, you know, the IE, the Firefox, what versions they were using, um, and also because of an internal uh, geo database using their IP address, we get some, some geographic distribution of where those requests were coming from. Uh, now, in 2009, we wanted to take this a step further, uh, and we asked Triometric to help us to understand what our clients who were using the XML API were actually asking for. This was initially to address some significant performance issues we were having. Um, we were running blind. You know, occasionally we'd have problems with our infrastructure. Fairly confident it was being caused by uh, our clients or a client, um, but we just had no visibility. So through their XML module, um, Hypertrack Geometric, I should say, worked on analyzing the number of hits we were getting. Now, we were getting about 150, perhaps less in those days, but probably about 75 to 100 million hits per day. Uh, from our XML client base. Those requests would come through to us, and about 50 million of those were hotel searches. You know, we would onward send some of those requests to our supply chain, so we have some external third-party suppliers who will retrieve inventory. You know, perhaps we'll be talking directly to the hotel chains. Uh, about 50 million of them, we would also respond from our local inventory, and we'd correlate the lot together and send it back to our client. Uh, now, with this, with the analysis of the XML and the data that it gave us, we, we created a bit of a business intelligence database, although that wasn't really the intention. This was a purely IT operational thing for us to understand what the clients were asking for. So we get an understanding of, of the request types, uh, how many requests were coming in to us per client, the geographic region, what ISPs they were using, 
we get an understanding of the performance of our own infrastructure, that the internet latency, which was quite significant for, for some of our clients who are out in, in Japan or you know, where the traffic was having to go across or through the Great Firewall of China. Um, so the byproduct of this was, that, was business intelligence. You know, we'd suddenly start to understand what destinations our clients were look at, looking at, um, the dates of stay, how long their stay was, you know, the duration, what star rating they were specifically looking for, um, number of rooms or packs. Uh, so that was sort of the, the next phase of, of the development cycle, if you like. This slide represents a little bit about how that process works. The XML request comes into us on the left-hand side there. It goes into our GTA distribution server. It will analyze um, our own database for contract rates and availability of hotels. It would go out back outside of our uh, remit, out of our data center for other, ho other aggregators like Bonatel and Pegasus and, and Darisoft and return responses and, and we push the results back out to the client. So the next phase of this development was us getting visibility of our outbound supplier requests. Because what, what became very apparent is whilst we had this plethora of information and we could put our finger on, on any individual request, our supply chain you know, weren't there yet. Um, so we actually had a, another piece of work that allowed us to see within the uh, triometric database are supply chains response times. You know, their, uh, their failure to respond at times, you know, within our, within our, our timeout values. Um, we also got all the business intelligence about the pricing and inventory and bookings and, and content from them as well. So the future for us, we'll continue to, to work with triometric to develop this product. Um, the next phase is us taking our search data and pushing it into our revenue management system to make sure that we're getting the most out of our product, that where people are searching, we can make sure that the pricing is right. Um, that's the future for us. We don't see an end to where this can lead us, and it's made a big difference to our world. There is a, a, an idea of our dashboard that we use, which gives us visibility all the time of our, our requests, our XML requests, the errors. This particular dashboard view is, is one that gives us daily response times. We have another that sits in our office and shows us real time per minute what these values are. Um, it allows us also to have some, some monitoring around anomalies, you know, sudden fluctuations, either increase or decrease in the, uh, the requests or the errors that are coming through. So that's probably really all I, all I have to say on what we've done so far. Great. Thank you, Chris. And, you know, what are you seeing so far, you know, as an impact of some of your efforts? Uh, honestly, today, I don't know how we would run the IT operations piece without the intelligence that we have. Um, if, if, if it wasn't there, there would be a lot of people just wouldn't be able to do their jobs. Um, uh, it's just invaluable, to be honest.